constant contact tutorial email marketing tool. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how you can get started with constant contact because in the current digital age, it's really important to send out emails regarding your product, services, updates, discounts, sales, and everything else with your business needs to be told in emails and SMS and social media and other digital marketing channels. Because all of this is now automated, managing all of these different marketing segments can be really difficult. However, Constant Contact makes it easier all in one place, especially in terms of email marketing where it becomes so difficult to manage your customer lists, manage your customer segments, and then send out hundreds and thousands of emails every other day. So with Constant Contact, you can get started with only $12 a month, and this is going to be tiered pricing. So the more number of subscribers you have in your email marketing list, the price is going to vary for you as well. And you can still get a 14-day free trial of any of your preferred plans. Now let's jump right into Constant Contact. Now to get started, simply enter your email address. So first off, just enter your email address like so, and then you're going to input a suitable password. Now, once you have done that, you are going to click on get started over here. So now that we have completed our email address information, it's time to actually choose our plan as well. You can choose to opt for a free trial of any one of their plans starting at $12 going up to around $30. So firstly, you're going to provide with how many contacts are in your list. Let's say there's one all one contact and you will see you will have the number of contacts zero to 500. You will be charged $12, 501 to $1,030 like this. So the tiered pricing is going to vary across different plans as well because the light one has the least features. It starts at 12 for the standard one for the same amount of contacts you would have to pay $35 and for the premium one you have $80. Now I am going to be choosing the light version with basic email marketing, social management as well as event management. Now below that you also have your prepay option so if you choose to do prepay you can get a discount as well so if you prepay for uh six months you get a 10 percent discount and if you prepay for 12 months you get a additional five percent discount so we are going to continue with our monthly plan and then click on continue over here now once you click on continue you will be led to your checkout and you're just going to fill in your information to proceed so now that we have completed our payment, we are going to proceed to our account on Constant Contact. So simply click on go to your account to log on to your account. Now in your account, you are going to find different tools. Firstly, the most primary tool is going to be email marketing. If you want, you can also subscribe to premium SMS add-ons if those are features that you would like to use. So I do have to add a security question. So let's say who was your favorite teacher? Me. And then I'll just click on submit over here. Now on the top left, you have your marketing section. In your marketing section, you are able to find your multi-channel campaigns as well as all of your current running campaigns and a calendar to view them in a timeline format. You can also get access to your emails, automations, events, ads, landing pages, sign up forms, social posts, and surveys all over here. Next up, you have your contact section, which includes segments, lists, and tags, which can help you in categorizing your subscribers. Now, there is a major difference between segments, lists, and tags. Segments are usually derived by specific customer behavior. So I can create a segment for customers that have purchased in the last 30 days. Obviously, as the days move forward, the customers that are going to be present in that segment are going to change. So this is going to be a dynamic categorization. 
Then you can build st standoff lists which are going to attribute a certain characteristic of your own personal preference. And you can also add tags as a secondary defining feature. Next up, you also have reporting that can help you in getting valuable data from your email subscribers. So you can understand what types of emails get opened most frequently, what type of, uh, you know, format your customers prefer. Next up, you also have some other tools such as content generator and other integrations. Now let's get started with creating our email campaign. To do this, simply click on create on the top. And once you do that, click on email. Once you click on email, you can proceed with your email campaign builder. So in our email campaign builder, we're going to build a simple welcome campaign or thank you for your subscription. So it's really easy to do that. You will simply proceed in the email builder. So over here in our email marketing hub, we are just going to click on create email to start building our first email campaign on constant contact. Now, our first step towards building our email campaign is our template selection. So we're just going to move on towards email building. So over here, there are a bunch of different templates that we can get started with, including a option to get started from scratch using our own HTML or importing PDF to email. Now you can choose the type of email you want to create. I want to create a simple email that is a welcome to our community email. So I am going to be choosing on the top. I'll just search for welcome over here. And this will show me all templates available for welcomes. If you don't want to use a pre-filled template, you can also click on layout templates over here to just choose a simple layout template. These templates only have designated areas, which are standardized high converting email templates that you can use. But I want to use something that already has some content in it. So I will be using a simple theme. Let's search again for our welcome based themes. So I think I really like this one. So I will click on select over here. Once I click on select, I will be led to our email editor from where we're going to begin editing. Now on the top right, you're going to also see the option to send out a test email. A test email can help you in determining how your email is going to appear in the inbox of your recipient. So you will have a better understanding of what it's going to look like when a customer receives that email and whether or not they are going to, you know, actually make it look appealing or not. Now to customize, simply click on any section and then I can adjust the logo. I can click on replace on the top to replace the logo. I can also click on create in Canva to directly create in Canva as I go. You can select any section and customize the text. So I will add thanks or welcome to our community like this and I will delete this icon simply by clicking on the icon and then clicking on the delete icon from the top right. Now I will click on the text block from the left and then drag and drop it at the top. And then after that, I will add my company name. Let's say my company name is Ruffles and I'll delete all other text in this. And then I will convert this into my heading text by making it center aligned, increasing the font size and changing the font style into a font that suits my brand or my already existing brand logo. You can customize every section, but one thing to make sure is that at the bottom you have location, street address, phone number, and all of this customizable info. Make sure to customize this because if you don't customize this, you're not going to be able to send out your email. Below that, you have social media icons where if you click on those icons, you can click on edit and then on the left, you will see the option for the type of icon you display and the links that you want to add. Click on continue on the top right and then schedule your campaign and happy emailing. So I hope you guys found this video helpful and you are now able to get started with sending out emails using constant contact. The best part is you can choose if you want to send now or schedule them for later and you can also choose if you want to see early results and then if you want to resend them to people that have not opened the initial email. These are amazing conversion features that can help in re-engaging potential lost leads. 
and you also have to customize your campaign info that is going to be sent out alongside this particular campaign. If you found this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe.